Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you all doing? I pray your Rabbi you're all doing well. First of all, I do apologize for not posting anything in a while. I was a little bit under the weather, but alhamdulillah, getting much better. Thank you so very much for your um, very kind emails asking me where I am and seeing how I'm doing. I do appreciate it. Today, I want to share with you verse number two from Surah Fatir. Now, Surah Fatir is one of these surahs when you listen to it, it gives you this feeling of just inner faith and the ability to have real tawakkul on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, true reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I want to share with you specifically verse 2. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what? مَا يَفْتَحِ اللَّهُ لِلنَّاسِ مِنْ رَحْمَةٍ فَلَا مُمْسِكَ لَهَا وَمَا يُمْسِكَ فَلَا مُرْسِلَ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ what does this mean? It means whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants from mercy to his people, none can withhold it. And whatever he withholds, none or no one can release it. If you live by this verse, if you contemplate and let it just sink in, the amount of inner peace you could be living in is just surreal. It's unbelievable. If you have that understanding that if something is yours and you really are destined to have it, it doesn't matter if the entire world, right, stands against you and Allah wants it to be yours, you're going to get it. And if it's something that doesn't belong to you and you do everything you can and you make those phone calls, you want to get that job or, you know, getting somebody on the inside, doing whatever it is, and it's not meant to be yours, you're not going to get it. Now, if you really live by this, you're going to have real tawakkul on Allah real reliance on him subhanahu wa ta'ala understanding that everything every little matter of yours in his hands subhanahu wa ta'ala and i'm not saying that you don't exert the effort i'm not asking you to have tawakul tawakul remember we said before is the bedouin where he leaves his camel untied in the desert and he says allah is going to what protect it yes of course allah is going to protect it but you have to do your part right if you leave a, a, a camel untied it's going to roam away right versus tawakul is when you tie the camel and they say inshallah allah will take care of it you do the same. Do your part and then leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? And be certain if something, as we said, if it's something it's yours, you're going to get it, right? Even if all the signs around you say that it's not yours, that it's impossible, if Allah wants you to have it, it's your risk, it's your sustenance, you'll get it. If it's something that's not yours and you're trying so hard, as I said, maybe a new job or a marriage or something, and it's not happening, it doesn't happen, be certain that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't let it happen because it's what's best for you. You have to have that understanding. Sometimes it's hard to accept and to see that there's good in things that happen to us, as we said before. But it's very important that you understand that He subhanahu wa ta'ala created you. He knows how you function. He knows what's good for your soul and what's not good for you. Sometimes we seek something that might appear to be good, but it could be good for our nafs, right? It might make us way this way or that way. And Allah's protecting you from it, but you don't see the bigger picture. Have that tawakkul on Allah and understand that if something is sent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you, no one can withhold it. And if something is not yours, no one, and Allah doesn't want it to be for you, no one can release it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rabb, grant us all true reliance on Him, Ya Rabb, and understanding and accepting His qada, accepting and having rida for everything He has destined for us, Ya Rabb, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.